Hello Internet, I'm Hazel. Today is almost Saturday. It is Friday, n December, no, January. January the 8th, and uh, it's vlog time. So this week, I, ha I, did, I did two class previews. I did Miss Weaver Monk, and I also did Arcane Mage. And there's this weird phenomenon that happens whenever I do a bunch of research on a class and what, what their changes are going to be in Legion in preparation for making one of these videos. And that weird phenomenon, phenomena, 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 the thing, the thing, that, the thing that happens is that uh, I go, oh, that's cool. And then I look at it on live because, of course, I have one because I have everything except for Death Knight. And uh, then I go, oh, maybe I should be that instead. And this happens every single time. And, of course, the most recent DPS class that I ended up doing was Arcane Mage. So now I'm all in my, I'm in a phase right now where I'm like, what if I want to be an Arcane Mage in Legion? Maybe I want to raid as an Arcane Mage or just a mage. Maybe I should gear up my mage and see if I can do any damage. Because the thing that really entices me about the idea of being a mage is that you are a pure DPS class. You have three specs to choose from. So if one of your specs is garbage on, like, a fight, you have two other specs that could be better on it. Like, you can effectively, and with a lot of work, because you might need different pieces of gear for different specs, but you could effectively set yourself up to be pretty damn good on almost every fight. Whereas right now, my Shadow Priest... I'm either good on a fight, or I'm okay on a fight, or I'm bad in a fight, and I can adjust my talents, but I, there's no other spec option there. So, uh, also you get kind of shunted into healing, should you ever need to, uh, should your raid need a healer and you happen to have a healing off spec. So, uh, see, so yeah, I'm thinking about mage. Um, I got my mage up to level like 692, so I'm gonna try and, I think, start pugging Hellfire Citadel on normal. Uh, that's probably going to make me regret my decision to gear up and all, but we'll, we'll, we'll try that out sometime. And, uh, and see how that goes. <sighs> what else happened this week? I saw, I don't know if this was this week or if I talked about it already. I don't think I already did. I saw Star Wars, not the new one. I've actually, like, I had never seen any of the Star Wars films. They tried to show me episode four when I was in university in, like, an English class. It was very strange. And I fell asleep. It was the only time I've ever fallen asleep in school in my life. And it was when they were trying to show us Star Wars. And uh, so I didn't even see it then, but I saw it. I saw episode four. So in my mind, it's the first one. Apparently, it's the fourth one. There's like some weird prequel, sequel. Some of them are good and some of them are bad. And I don't even know. There's some weird stuff going on there. But I saw episode four, the oldest one. And it was an all right movie. It was pretty good. I have to catch up on some more of them. And we're trying to work at exactly how many of them I need to see before I am caught up enough to see the newest one. Because everybody's really excited about The Force Awakens. Everybody, like, I follow... I love Twitter, and I follow a large amount of people on Twitter, and most of them have gone to see that movie, and almost all of them have tweeted, uh, not spoilers, but they have tweeted that, oh my god, this is the best movie, you have to see it. And I'm wondering if it's worth catching up to see it, even as a not Star Wars fan. I'm not not a Star Wars fan, I don't have anything against Star Wars, I'm just, I've never really been super into sci-fi franchises. I've always been more of a fantasy kind of, kind of nerd. Uh, so I'll have to, I'll have, I'll have to see. Um, I enjoy, I enjoyed the movie, so hopefully the next ones are also good, and then maybe I'll catch up, maybe I'll be, maybe I'll be a big Star Wars fan, you never know. Mm. Let's see, also in WoW, um, the alpha's still not up yet. They brought the alpha down for the holidays, and they haven't brought it back up yet. Uh, I think it was Celestalon that tweeted, um, a couple days ago that they want to make sure that they have a new build ready to go with some new content ready when they bring the alpha back up, so it'll be neat to get access to some new content. Not me, of course, because I'm not in the alpha, but anybody that has access to will, to it will be able to look through some new stuff when it does come back up. We don't know when that'll be. I have this hope in the back of my mind that when they bring it up, they might do another wave of invites, and maybe I might get in, because that would really make making these class overviews a lot easier. I don't know what other, what other alpha gods I can pray to here. <laughs> um, but hopefully I get in. If not, that's fine too. Um, maybe they'll get to a point in their life where they actually start doing actual alpha keys or beta keys because right now um you have to have your account flagged in order to get access you can't there's no keys if there's any keys flying around they're illegitimate and they're probably going to steal your account or your password or your dog or something so uh no beta keys yet but they may they've done that in the past and they may open it up to do beta keys at some point in the future and hopefully at that point i can find somebody that i can you know buy a key off them or have a friend that doesn't want their key or Something. Hopefully I can get my hands in one at that point, so we'll see. Uh, I won't get my hopes up too far, though, on terms of getting in. I just, we just got to work with what we got. And in any case, in like six months or so, I mean eight or nine months at the very, very worst, but six months or so, uh, the whole thing will be out. And then everybody has access to everything. And we'll have the transmog wardrobe, and we'll have all the class changes, and we'll have a new world to explore. And oh my god, I can't wait. I'm so bored. 
Like I, I've gotten a little bit more rejuvenated with, um, with, uh, gearing up this mage and trying to learn a new DPS spec. And there's always mount runs to do, and there's always PVP to do, especially for me as I'm trying to learn and get better. But Hellfire Citadel's getting a little on the stale side. This is the first time I've been in sort of a long content patch where I have been raiding the whole time. Like I played through Dragon Soul and I played through uh, ICC. And uh, I played through Siege, Siege of Orgrimmar, but in none of those patches was I actively raiding the whole time. This is the first time I've actually been in the raid every week, clearing it, and starting to realize exactly... Like, before I always wondered what people were complaining about. I was like, there's lots of stuff to do. You don't... You don't... You, you know, it's a big raid, and there's lots of things to do in the world. But but I'm starting to realize now, having done the raid every week, it does get kind of old. Uh, so we'll see We'll see how long, how long we manage to keep that up for. Our guild raid may end up taking a break at some point. I think it'll be a miracle if they manage to keep everybody show enough people showing up to raid every week to do the raid every week until new content comes out because it's going to be a while. Uh, so we might take a break at some point, but hopefully there'll be other stuff to do with the guild because I really like hanging out with my guild. It's like having friends. We might do the, um, the new Diablo season that's coming out. There's a Diablo season coming out. I think it's on the 15th, so like a week from now. Like, an, actually, an actual week from now. And I might try that again. I might try leveling a seasoned wizard or a witch doctor or something. I skipped out in the last season, so maybe maybe, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll get back in on this one. Uh, what else? I have successfully drawn something every day since I started doing that. Uh, I can show you my pictures right now. Uh, I, let's see. This first one here, this is a jade plant. This was the first one I did. I did this one with my mouse, which is why, it, I mean... They're all going to look kind of like crap, because I don't know what I'm doing. But uh, I drew that one with my mouse, so it's not the greatest. But it's a thing. You can kind of tell what it is. And that, I think, is my bar for whether or not I am happy with what I've made. If you can look at it and tell what it's supposed to be without me telling you, then that's good enough. Anything else beyond that is a work in progress. I have no real expectations for myself, which is what makes it so fun. I've been having a blast. Uh, scribbling every morning um, in, in, in my software. Uh, so that's a jade plant. This next one is a bandicoon. Um, he's a little he's a little funny looking. I wish I had scooted his head back a little further onto his body because uh, he, he's got like it's like he's got an invisible neck. I don't I'm not really happy with that. But he's he's, he's cute he's cute enough. He took me a very long time. And then next we have a snowman and he's a he's a snowman of the storm. Uh, I gave him lightning bolts. I'm not really sure why. I kind of wanted him to look like a slightly evil snowman, but I, I didn't really know how to do that other than adding lightning bolts. So he's a snowman with lightning bolts. And then this next one is a tree. I had very little time, so he's just a, he's just a, he's just a windy tree. Like a little bird. Uh, the bird looks a little bit evil too. Hi, kitty. What's up? You want to come up here? Are you going to crawl up here through the chair? Oh, there you go. There you go, cat. She looks, she's, she likes cuddling on laps all the time, but if I'm wearing anything particularly fluffy or, or cuddly, like this is my penguin onesie, uh, as proof in point, um, she is extra attracted to the lapness. Also, she likes my hair, but right now she's just, I can't, I don't know if I can show you. I have no way to show you properly, but she has just flopped in a little, in a little cat puddle on my lap. Uh, so that was a tree. Next, there's a purple umbrella, which is kind of part of the same tree drawing, you know, it's the same windy day. Uh, so there's a purple umbrella. And then next, I tried to draw an eye. Harder than it looks. Uh, so yeah, that happened. I didn't really know how to make eyelashes, so I made it up, and it looks more like um, a toothbrush, but that's okay. And then next, I have this little owl buddy, and this was what I did last yesterday, last night. And I wanted to add a whole bunch more detail to him. I wanted to add some feathers. I wanted to color his face better. But my drawing tablet um, started disconnecting repeatedly and a lot and at some point at one point I couldn't get it to reconnect and I was drawing this at like one in the morning so I didn't have time to stay up and troubleshoot it so I didn't quite get to finish him but he's still cute enough and then today I did this little thumb cactus which kind of looks more like a pincushion in a pot and he is also not finished because uh once again my tablet started disconnecting so I'm gonna get a new a new cable for my little drawing tablet I just have a little cheapy like $70 Wacom drawing tablet that I got a long time ago uh, and I don't know if the problem is with the tablet or the cable, so I'm going to replace the cable and see if that fixes the problem. And if not, then I'm, then I'm probably going to have to replace the tablet, which seems really silly considering I've been drawing for six days and I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm having so much fun. It's so much, it's so relaxing to sit down and color. And I really like the idea of drawing digitally instead of drawing on paper because 
one, you can erase things completely. If you do something and you hate it, there not only is there an undo button, which is wonderful, but you can you can erase something completely. You can never tell it was there. And then secondly, the layers are great. Uh, thirdly, I have access to every color under the sun, and I don't need to like get lots of colors. And and it's just it's just really really fun. So if 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 my tablet doesn't work, I'm probably gonna look into replacing it. But uh, hopefully, I can get it back up and running with a new cable and. Uh, and draw some more stuff. In the meantime, I think over the weekend, I am going to be drawing with a pencil and some paper. Not even colored pencils. I think just a normal pencil. Uh, which is going to produce things that are less colorful than this. But I can't just skip days. It's a New Year's resolution. I gotta draw every day. Oh my god. You can't see my cat, but she's being super cute. Uh, she likes it when you, like, pet her cheeks. Yeah. She also likes it when you scratch her chin. Uh. You can only see one half of her face. I'm so sad. Okay. Uh, so, questions. We had some questions this week, which was super exciting. Wow Musicable asks... Oh, my God. My hair... Sorry. No, this, is, this isn't what he asked. Um, something has happened to my bangs when I put my hood on. I'm just going to put the hood back on. <laughs> All right. Close enough. Uh, wow Musicable asks... I, Hi, I just discovered your channel. I like what you do. Aw. Uh, I'm especially really fond of the short intro you have for your pet battle videos. It's so funny. Can't you have that intro to all of your videos? So he's probably talking about the one that I had like year over a year ago, um, with a little dancing gnome, and a little and a little sound clip. Uh, I used to put that in the front of all my pet battle videos. I have since, and a lot of people, you're not the only one to ask this. A lot of people have asked for that intro to come back. I've since decided that I don't want to have an intro, like a dedicated intro clip on my videos, um, because. A lot of people find my videos, find my guides and stuff from search. They they go to YouTube and they search, uh, I want to beat uh, Chi Chi. And they find my video. And all they want to know is how to beat Chi Chi. They don't care about me. They don't care about who I am. They don't care about my dancing gnome. They just want to know how to do it. So I've been trying to kind of restructure. The idea with taking out the intro was to get the video to the point faster. Um, and, and I still try within the video to have, you know, some character and some... Some cheerfulness and, and whatever. And I've recently put an outro in my video, which has a dancing night elf with like some suggestions of what to watch next. But I don't I don't think I'm gonna bring the intro back just because I wanna I wanna get to the point faster and I don't really like intros as a concept. I did like that intro, and uh, you're not the only person that, that wants it back. Um, so I might try and find some series where it would make sense to have something like that. But for the most part, I'm not gonna I don't think I'm gonna bring that back. Uh, Jake asks, just wondering if all your research into the different class changes has made you think about choosing a new class or spec. I know I've already switched. I can be a warlock again. Yeah, yeah. I think I already talked about this, um, like, today, because it was actually already on my mind. Uh, every single time, every damn time, I, I change my mind. I'm like, oh, I want to do this. I want to do this. Mostly with ranged DPS, because that's what I know I want to do. If I'm raiding, specifically, in PvP, I'm probably going to be a healer. But in raiding, I like being a ranged DPS, um... I like doing damage. I find it more fun and more rewarding than raid healing or raid tanking. And melee doesn't appeal to me. I'm not good at melee. I'm not good at being up in front of stuff. I'm not good at dodging stuff that's up in front where you can't really see anything. There's so many pets up there and that's gonna get, that's gonna get worse. Like there's so much stuff going on in melee. I'd rather be a ranged DPS. So every time I do a preview, whoa god, I just want to scoot back so you can see my kitty. Um, every time I do a preview for a ranged DPS class, every single one, I go, oh my god, I need to do this. And uh, there's only so much time in a day, so right now I'm probably still going to be a Shadow Priest, but if I can pull better numbers on a mage, then I might switch. Shadow Priest is, is my love, but um, I also love big numbers, and I really want to beat my husband on DPS, and he's really good at WoW, and that's going to be hard without being a pretty optimal class. He plays a hunter right now, so he's, 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 he's doing some big, big deeps. <clears throat> Goose Comics asks, what type of new battle pet content would you like to see added in Legion? Uh, for me, I would love to see a way for trainers to prevent us from using a certain type of pet combo. Cough Halibom from literally destroying everything. Yeah, Halibom is its own problem. Um, it's, it's ridiculous. It's not great in PvP pet battles because people see it coming a mile away and most people will have a way to circumvent that, like get out of the way basically. Um, but in PvE, it basically ruins anything, especially when they're do when they're trying to make these... Beast of Fable and the Tiny Terrors of Tanan, like these single pet encounters. Um, anything that's like one big pet, and a couple of the Garrison Dailies too, they're just destroyed by a um, by like a single single set of combo like that. And I don't really know what they can do to fix that, unless of course they give trainers an ability to say, um, like how would they how would they break that up? 
you could have them cleanse debuffs of themselves. You could have a mechanic like a tournament where they cleanse themselves with debuffs every turn. So you have to set things up on your end. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't think they really need to go too far with new content in Legion. Obviously, we're going to need some new pet tamers. I would like to see a new style of tournament like they had with the Celestial Tournament. I'd love to see a new version of that. Oh, oh, we made it. We made it all the way across. We made it all the way across the continent, and I didn't. Uh, and I didn't finish talking yet. All right, well, let's let's fly back. Uh, take me. Oh God. Take me. Take me. Let's let's go to the Exodar from Romkan. That'll take a bit. <laughs> um, all right. So yeah, I don't really think they should go too crazy. I do think obviously new pet tamers. That's that's gonna happen. Uh, new wild pets. New tournaments. Uh, yeah, that's about that's about that's about all I can do. Aside from making improvements to um to increase the scene of, of pet battle pvp um with some of the things that i talked about whenever i talk i had a vlog not too not too long ago that i talked about pet battle pvp and things they could do to improve upon that so yeah it's a pretty basic system there's only so much they can do to improve it but maybe i'm just thinking too inside the box maybe somebody at blizzard has some big ideas and they're just gonna blow me away pokemon champ asks which unobtainable pet would you like to have the most oh my god i was supposed to look this up i was supposed to look at them uh, before this happened, before I made this, and I completely forgot. So let's look at let's look at pets. This is my pet collection. Um, pets. All right, so not collected. All right, gotta be either the panda cub, because oh my god, look at him. I guess he's still obtainable if you have a billion dollars and you can find an original World of Warcraft collector's edition added to your account, but uh, basically unobtainable. Or the baby blizzard bear. I have a thing about bears. I love bears. I don't play League of Legends, but if I did, I would probably want to play that one, that little girl with the big bear, Annie. I don't know. I like bears. Uh, yeah. Look at him. Oh, I can't zoom in. He's, he's not even, he's not even, I, he's, you probably don't even use him for stuff. He's just a little cute white polar bear. So yeah, that's that. That's the one. That's the unattainable one I'd want. That panda's super cute too, but again, billions of dollars. Not worth it. Anyways, that has been my week and my little and, and, and my kitty's week. Meow. Sorry, I meow my cat a lot. Uh, if you have any questions you would like answered on next week's vlog, just leave them as a comment on the most recent vlog, which would be in this case this one. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye. Bye. <laughs>